That was fast. You see, uh, we're back in this again. I cut down a bit of the music, so if you guys want that, you can come to the uh, video side on YouTube. It's always going to be there, but for the most part, here we are with the usual, the same old, same old. How's it going? Yo, it's your boy, Finch. Uh, <laughs> I've been listening to Yeet. That's all you need to know. Hey, everybody. What's going on? <laughs> and back at does it again. <laughs> uh, what you guys been up to? Listening to Yeet. Yo, I've been getting into real estate. I'm trying that to be too. like a mogul. That too. We're getting into real estate. We're about to start selling homes and shit to these fuck niggas. I'm, a, I'm mm. a, selling homes to people. What have you been up to, buddy? You know what? Uh, let me think. Let me think. What, 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 what? what, Not, you, nah, what, do, what have you been up to, bro? I've been up to a lot. It's been two whole weeks. So what you what you want? What you want? The action? I went rock climbing yesterday. That was. You went rock climbing? Oh, oh yeah. Fun. How was that? It was honestly exhilarating. I see why people I love that up. stuff. Like fed up. climbing up those rocks, you feel like a you feel like an animal. I remember like as a, a real kid, man. I don't know if y'all had the rock climbing things as a kid, but I used to be on that bitch. I feel that. I feel. I, oh, I didn't have that. We had the uh, wall climbing where you had to pull the yeah, rope the and put your oh. put your feet on the wall. We didn't have rock climbing shit. It's like exactly. rappelling back in uh. Rainbow yeah, they taught us how to break us in houses and shit. So I'm just trying to know. We didn't do rock climbing. We Wait. just climbed the wall. Well, did they? Not that thing about it? No. I feel kinda. like it. Because now that I look back, we wasn't doing like no rock climbing shit. Nah. We was climbing walls and jumping over shit like hurdles and shit. That's <laughs> army prep. That's different. Them they niggas had us to... preparing for running from cop. Okay. Anyway. But no, listen. I had an idea. I wanted to wait till we got to the podcast so the people could see it. What if, you know, we're going on a, a, a trip, all of us. What if we gave these guys a vlog? That's a vlog. Purely up to you guys. A I mean, shea butter vlog. I would love to do a vlog. I think they'd love to see us in a vlog. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but they love to see us in a vlog, buddy. Go I ahead. That'd be fun. A vlog. But I do have to let you know I'm not editing. I'm going to edit it. Thank you. Cause Me. I, I'm going to shoot it. Do you feel like it's a lot of work doing all of the editing? Yes. Simple answer. Yeah. Yeah. It, just yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm going to do the vlog. I'm going to do the vlog. How long typically does it take for you to edit? The audio is easy just because, like, this fantastic Maggie <sighs> Pro FX. FX, ah, FX, 120 FX, V3. Put the sh- put it the, put makes the, it so echo easy. On it. Oh, I'm sorry. Put I'm the echo on, on that the, shit. What, what is it again? There it goes. The Mac. Oh, there. The Maggie Board. board. Oh. VFX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 120, 120 V3. V3. There it is. It makes it so easy to do. Like It really does do most of the editing work right here. Yeah. I just got to go back and make it a little louder sometimes. And For the video? Oh, God, the video. You fucking cameras. Damn. You're gonna, I'm, I'm just saying. Why are you like, talking to them like that? Yeah, That's so some mean. freaky shit. You a freakazoid. These cameras just have it out for me. That's all I'm saying. Like, audio is so easy. because this coffee to the side. I'm acting up. It's right here. Between your two ears, you're just like, oh, this sounds good. It's so easy to do. It's an easy that. goal. I feel Making that. a video look good? Harder. So much harder. My computer's a piece yeah, of... Yeah, and then the computer. That's a potato. It really I is. was going to offer you, like, if you want to take this laptop and use iMovie, it makes editing videos. But butter. I can't do nearly the things that I want to do. I mean, it had a massive update. I'm sure you can. And even so... Don't doubt it, bro. No offense. Brother. I mean, no offense, but Brother. if I'm going to upgrade, I'm just going to get a new PC. One that I could probably game on and such like that. I need a you new don't one, game. too. Dude, <laughs> fuck You're HP. Right. HP is breaking my back right no, now. I don't think it's HP. I think it's... Let's just inform them. One, it's a older... You've had it for about, what, five, four years now? Yeah. yeah it's are, we still talking, are we still talking about the computer that we were using yeah. back in the game? Yeah, that purple one. Oh, God. Well, don't do that. The the, uh, the background Let's for this. Let's not do that. The story for this um, oh, PC is... More background. Back when we were doing... You Shaper have the right to the say fuck him. Uh, no, I just want to lay it out. We were trying to record on three blue snowball mics, each hooked up to a laptop. One was this MacBook, which did its job. One was that computer right there, which did its job. Before that, I had a Chromebook, and it didn't do its job. No, it didn't. And then Ooh. in between those two are the pink, kind of purple. Uh, it was definitely purple. Okay, purple. purple. Um, HP laptop that Corey has, and that thing, it's fighting for its life every second, every minute. Every single time I open every that bitch second, on, you just... Minute, bitch. You just didn't know what it was going to do. And I, I liked it. I liked the spontaneity, spontaneity of it. Spontaneity. Spontaneity. If I had that PC, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. I'll be honest with you. That thing is. It helped me complete my assignments. Barely. That's but all I had to do. That's all it had to do. I'm surprised you haven't up, upgraded already, honestly. I know. But it's she just has. so freaking expensive. She has upgraded. Oh. She's not going to take her hand-me-downs. You beat, you beat the life out of that. Oh, thing. it's not a hand-me-down. <laughs> it's just this. You talking about your laptop? Yeah. It's a hand-me-down. I don't, I don't use, use it. 
You you, you do use it whenever you need it. You use it like if you. Need I haven't it. used it since like yesterday. Well, I used it yesterday, yeah. yeah. But I didn't. No, I didn't because it was dead. So I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't use it. <laughs> but no, I'm saying. Um, I don't think you need a laptop. If you need to use something, like you do anything, you have this one. It has your own profile. On. But we're not here to talk about hardware, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't really get into you, right? And I feel like that's a big issue after watching the podcast. You don't really talk about you, brother. <gasps> I agree. Give me some skin, baby. Ding. All right. What have you been up to, brother? Well, let's get into it. That rock climbing was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, I have several videos of me dangling from a cliff, like cliffhanger PBS. And um, I forgot about that in my childhood. You're welcome. I was there was this one rock climbing uh, wall that it was my last one. My arms were tired, and I was just like, you know, what? I'm gonna get one last wall in. I'm gonna go out like a man. Mm -hmm. I'm climbing it, leg, right arm, left arm, just getting it. I go for one jump and reach, and I miss it. I miss it bad. Mm. And I'm like the dreams. There, Kind of, kind of. Okay. And my friend Marcus was there with me. And you have friends? Turns out, yeah. God. A couple. Awesome. But anyway, wow. like, I wow. clunk. I, I'm kicking the wall. I'm hanging by one rock. And he just oh, looks shit. up because he hears me banging against the wall. He's just like, <laughs> bro, what, what happened? I'm just like, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just hanging here. I'm just chilling. Just hanging out, you know. Just anyway, vibing. Rock climbing was fantastic. If you guys want to go out. Um, I'm, not I'm going to put place. that in my date ideas. Yeah, go ahead and jot that down. You know what I really want to do? What's popping? I want to do those ATV mud riding type oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. that'd be so fun. Yeah. Uh, so you want to explain to them? Um, yeah, please do. Kind of like how the, I mean, you sent it to me and, and um, it was like you rent the Oh, for, ATV. for people that isn't from, I guess, from the South. Yeah. because um, like We get four wheelers and stuff apparently and we just go out into the sticks, go all in the mud. I mean, you know, it's yeah. it's a it's a dirty adventure, but it's an adventure no less. Yeah. So it's kind of like you know. That's why I said you know we should give these guys a podcast. I mean, a podcast, a vlog of us doing all of that. You know, of us just going out exploring because they don't get that That'd often. Usually, they just get this black table, two black guys and a black girl just in here talking. Let's go ahead and go out. Let's go on an adventure, man. But I don't want to give edit out. the video. I like doing this thing where I come back and just audibly relay what I've done. Because if I have to carry a camera around for, with me, it just like it pulls I away from the actual activity. That too, and I feel so self centered around other people. They're like, "Who the fuck does she think she is?" Me. I'm me. I felt that. And I'm recording me. me. I felt that. And if you have a problem with that, record yourself and say it and post me, it, me, and then me. we can go back and forth for views. If not, mind your business. <laughs> so you don't feel anything about. Um, people who like record themselves no. in public. Yeah, no, this is you don't you don't feel like at least a little awkward when hell no. Get your bag if that's how you make your income, do it. Well, because for everybody that's at home, like we just did uh, pictures for the for the Shea Butter Boys, and um, there's a whole bunch of people like passing by in the drive. In the, what's it, what do you call it? The, yeah, the parking lot. lot. And uh, you know, at times it was a little awkward, but because I was with y'all, I, I was way more I comfortable. Like it. But I like it. it's like we're doing something outside I guess I'm of the shy, norm. camera shy. Personally, I'm just glad I don't live here. I don't have to see these faces ever again. That's true too. So he I doesn't like really it, have to know. see. But yeah, doing it with other people. We saw our neighbors. So yeah. I mean, when we do, when I, I'm gonna do the vlog, um, or when we do the vlog, I'm gonna put the camera at a perfect angle, no matter where we are. It's like I am shooting. No such thing as a perfect angle. To Not me. a perfect angle, but like a good angle to see everybody. And if somebody feels weird about it, it's like, well, I am working on my content. So if you have an issue with it, just move around it. This is for content. So that's, that's why I don't really feel no way about it. But I do want to broaden our horizon on like the content that we give out besides just like a, a video and a vlog. I was like, I mean, a video and a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, for it. go for it. Go Let's for it. Go for it. Go for it. Um, why not? Let's What's going on in the world? I, gonna, I know we got one minute. We got one minute. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I'm I, lay got this nigga. I got this nigga. I got this nigga. So you guys all know we're a Sunday recording podcast. We go up on Monday. That whole, okay, the Will Smith, Chris Rock slap thing is a week old. There are no new takes to have, but I said before we this got into like, the podcast, I will give them both a minute. I'm going to take 20. 60 seconds. I'm going to take 20. I'm going to take 20. I'm going to take 20. And I'll give them. If it happens, it happens. I'm going to take 20. You know? And then at the end of that I'm 60 seconds, I'm going to mute their mic and let them move on. I'm going to scream over his mic like the ignorant person I am. <laughs> All right. So we're well, I don't really like, care. I don't care. But well, I was just bringing it up. I don't care. Oh, you so you, do, you don't want your minute? Uh, I'll take more than a minute, sir. Monkey. But um, You got two you, minutes if she gives away her minute. I mean, you can have, I'll have 30 seconds of mine. I don't really care about it anymore. It is what it is. I don't think anybody cares about it no, anymore. No. 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 It was good. Niggas get slapped every day, B. I did not see any of these memes. But yeah, yeah. Niggas get slapped every day. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it raises more of awareness. For me, it felt like a Black Mirror episode. That yeah. was my take on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was definitely like 
weird, you know? There's people that everybody deals with their own issues, you know? He started your one minute. He's an asshole. Is it not being... Go ahead, keep talking. I mean, we don't even have to talk about the Will Smith situation specifically. It's it's yeah, really just like a matter of, you know... Uh, I don't want to say mental health. I don't... I don't think it's like I honestly I don't, think don't it's, care that much. Yeah, I don't I don't care about the Will and Chris. Fuck them. I think more of so like it's a it is a trend that's happened on TikTok lately too of guys trying to show out in front of girls or in front of their lady and they just end up embarrassing themselves in this secondhand cringe. Like, um Yeah, you're it's not on social media. And I and I know you're not on Twitter. But the people out there probably know. Somebody a dude got shot for the same situation of getting like trying to be that guy. Mm-hmm. He ended up like dying from it. And that's not the only answer. Like another dude got pride is the devil. Beat up like that because like, and it's like, damn, like it'd be those moments where it's secondhand cringe, where like somebody's like trying to show out and like I'm the ba- I'm the I'm bad to the bone, and so you end up looking goofy. Girls never like that either. Yeah. Girls never like Let's, that. Listen, guys, You're definitely giving little penis energy. If you're trying to be Ooh. out there, that's what it is. Just that's not okay to say. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. She's so. saying her thing. She's saying her thing. Mm-hmm. Or keep going. That's, I mean, it's that's, what they. It's, that's it's body true. judgment. That's body judgment. You're judging someone's body if they. Yeah, you can't say that. That's oh, body. Yeah, why are you body. so sensitive about this matter? I'm. I, there's people out there that might have small dicks and be like, I, "That's fucked up." I'm saving everybody. Okay. Okay. Well. What's okay. Another okay, concept brother. Of I would that? say like that's just childish mentality, like kid boy like mentality. Like you're a little boy. You know, it's a little boy mentality. Like sure. trying to show off in front of a girl. Like, bro, if you're if look if y'all young out there and y'all some young boys, just be you. You ain't got to smack a nigga. You ain't got to beat somebody up. You don't have to act tough. You don't have to prove anything. You don't have to prove anything, You don't have to prove anything. You got to prove nothing. Only thing you got to prove... He still has his minute out. I'm the minute man. I'm the minute man. (laughs) (laughs) And there it is. Two minutes for both of you guys. Good job. Good job. Honestly, I was surprised you got... You were able to conduct all that conversation in two minutes. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's move on to the next one, all right? Nah, nah, nah. All right, so what's nah, uh, nah, what's next? Nah, what's next? Nah, nah, nah. nah. You, Have you been inspired nah. or anything lately? Had any type of uh, Look at epiphanies? him, just pressing buttons. Look at him. <laughs> He's panicking. <laughs> anyway. Lately. You're saying I love, you haven't been inspired by anything Any epiphanies, lately? anything? Hmm. I made those speakers I was talking about. Speakers? Yeah, yeah. So I saw this video online with this one guy, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try it, this DIY speaker thing. Basically, you get this... um. This exciter, which is a how how deep do you want me to go with this? Because it, it Give gets pretty engineering. Surface too. general surface level. level. Explain okay, it to okay. a five year old. Explain gotcha, it gotcha. to a five year old. We love that. Okay, so sound is made through vibrations. Correct. And then I want to get a small speaker that uses certain elements as the speaker by giving it vibrations. So what I did was buy a speaker part that when applied to another piece of material uses that as a speaker. Cool. That's called an exciter. And then the other thing is just called a medium. I bought foam insulation, cut it in half, and then just put the exciter on the back. You have a lot of free time. It's it's a blessing. What can I say? Man. And then these That's things, nice. they sound all right. They have a real wide sound. Like they're pretty decent. But I wish I chose wood instead because it's too high pitch. Like it's too tingy. So so you're telling me when I take a shower, if I, I can use that speaker and it'll, it'll do its job. It uses whatever you put it on as a speaker. So if I put it in a wall like that, like on your shower wall, everyone that has that wall connection to it is uh, going to hear it as well. I feel the vibrations. Exactly. Feel the vibrations. Technically, if I put it on your body, you're a speaker now. Think about that. If I put it next to, you, if I put it on the top of your skull, I could probably kill you in minutes. But you're a speaker. I don't know for where I'm at right now. That's all I'm saying. So that's where I've been. I've been DIYing my ass off. Things that's are dope. things are pretty cool over here. That's like, dope. Real good stuff. And I also saw the movie Turning Red. I don't know if you guys <gasps> saw it. But yes, of course. I, I saw not watch it. It's a, it's a top tier movie, I'll be honest, of 2022. So far. You think so? Oh, yeah. Red. What movie did we watch? It has a, like four or five cringy moments. You watched moments. Turning Red with the, with the red panda, babe. Oh, yeah. 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 I love that. If I, if I had that, honestly, in middle school. Like the red panda thing? Yeah, well, I had a movie to look at like that. The, I mean, oh, I thought you meant yeah, like. Yeah, they tackled, they tackled puberty. No, for, I thought you were saying. If I could turn into a red that's what panda. I thought too. Oh, that'd be so cool. I thought, yeah, I thought that's where that'd you're going. That'd be so cool. But I'm, honestly, it's the embarrassment. Like when you're a teenage, a middle middle schooler girl, the embarrassment of literally everything that you do is like 
you do feel like a red panda. So it's, yeah. it was a, you were able to connect. Like I feel like like you know a lot of women were able to connect to that. Yeah. I mean, I saw the message, then I started getting confused when I saw her mom turn into Godzilla. I was like, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> well, she has you, a big red panda. I was going to say, you got to equate that to her being her pain. far more embarrassed. Yeah. Like, whenever, spoilers, um, whenever her dad, May's dad, was talking like about how his wife, like her mother, had a big panda, I was like, okay, let's say like two times as big as her panda. No. That's, that's not that big. She had a Godzilla. She was huge. Yeah. And, and like, some of us have re- really big red pandas. Facts. I would say. How big would my red panda be? That's a good question. In fact, let's go around. Like, how like big would each one of our big pandas? I mean, big red pandas be? Fill the room. That's a big panda. It is a big. Panda. Huh? It fill the room. Like like this room would be the size of the panda. Are we talking about like hormones and emotions and? Well, what the panda represents. Yeah. Yeah. Keep up here. Keep up. Keep up. I'm, I'm <laughs> keeping up. I, I, I get where we're at. I get where we're at. I don't think you take up the whole room though. Oh, that's sweet. Thank no, you. I think that's more of an introspective thing. Yeah, you it's definitely really it's not it's definitely not something. I thought it was like based off like how like cause she was angry. I was like, is that like a rub? Like she was like right, but she didn't get her panda from what anybody else felt. I'm like, not saying not. Like, I'm saying like okay, okay. So how big would your red panda be? It's up for the you size to of a real red panda or um massive Godzilla type. I'd be a small uh, baby panda. I'd be a small baby panda. A baby panda. A small baby. No, a small baby, whatever the fuck the red thing was. A red panda. Red panda, yeah, it'd be a small baby red panda. I think it'd just be a regular size. Yeah. Those things are so cute, by the way. Those things are. Oh. Mm. Look at red pandas if you're having a bad day. Those things are amazingly yeah. I'd be a baby red panda. I would I would have one as a pet. I was thinking about the same thing for bears, and I was just like. Bears? Oh, yeah. Bear cubs are so cute. But ba- like bears when they're big, they huge. look like they stink. I'm fine with that. But again, nature, you definitely shouldn't do that. You shouldn't even feed bears, so don't even No, you definitely should feed a bear. But real quick, I just want to put it in the sidebar. Owls, foxes, and bears are like my dream pets. Really? Like I know I can't have them. But exotic I'd like a wolf. An owl? Oh my a god. A wolf? I'd like don't a let me wolf. have a fucking wolf. That's a dog. That's a dog. No, I'm just asking no, for like, a dog. Like I'm talking a wolf. wolf. Get a get a husky. It's the same. No thing. big. Like I'm talking no. a wolf. Have you seen a wolf dog? Have you seen a wolf? No. They're way bigger have than a husky. S- have you seen a wolf dog? No. A wolf like they're they look exactly like a, a wolf. wolf, but they're just they've been like trained. Domesticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're big, like fucking huge. Like, they're they're fucking wolves big. are fucking huge. Yeah. They're wild. Imagine animals. you break into my home and something on four legs is coming to your stomach. So what's the difference between owning a wolf and a husky? A, hus- a husky's just not that big. Besides size. Besides size. Besides yeah. size. Besides size. size. So just get a husky. And teeth. That's and not teeth. exotic. And the teeth are um, are a little bit sharp. You're saying see, out of all want, the animals. I don't want something that sheds. I'm not a big fan of shedders. Out of all the animals I can bless you guys with, you're going with a wolf? Yes. Okay, Come okay. Come on now. Lions? No, fuck no. Lions? Oh, my God. A lion? If, like, they don't kill me and we can just cuddle all day, like I would legitimately be content. They are the sweetest things. How much do lions weigh? Like a th- they are huge. huge. They will crush you. I know you. tigers are like a ton. I don't know how it's much. It's like a weighted blanket. Are. But I did not see that one coming. I'll give that one to you, lions. Lions. I'll give that one. I'll give that one. And like, elephants are so sweet, but I wouldn't have them as a pet. I would literally take a wolf. Um, first pick, second pick. Uh, give me a fucking. Uh, we're we're taking draft picks right now. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, oh. First draft pick. Damn, I'm going with the wolf. I'm sorry, you can go. <laughs> I had to get mine in. First round, first round pick, a big ass wolf. Second round pick, I want the biggest, blackest, like. L- where's this, where's, where's going? this where's going? going? Yeah, where's yeah. This yeah. Going? no, take it as far as you need to go. But I want the biggest, largest snake. What? Like, I want it to be black and large, and I want, it, but I want it to not like be fat enough. You're a reptile type person? Yeah, I want a big ass snake. You and fuck I, with the reptiles? Yeah, like, reptile? like off of like, um, like I'm hair. Very, I'm very much a mammal person. Like I, I fuck with mammals, but I feel like that snake off of um, Harry Potter. Like when I saw it, yeah. and I saw like how it was just freely moving at that speed, I was like, if I could have a snake a little bit larger than that, move that freely and be loyal. That would be so fucking cool. Imagine You're a reptile person. Yeah, imagine I'm just chilling. Interesting. And you see a snake just like moving around me freely, but in a protective way, and it's big as shit. You you're like like on a magical tip. Like yeah, that'd thing. be amazing. Like having a snake protect me. And I feel me. like I'm more a mammal because like comfort, yeah, comfort yeah. pets. Like I, I I love loyalty. So yeah. like you know I'm gonna be with the dog all day. Like I protect the dog. I, like the dog. So, I love yeah. that bond. 
But I feel like with reptiles, you can't really have a I disagree. But I, I've never had a reptile, yeah. so I'm and not. And personally, I feel kind of the same thing he has for reptiles, for amphibians. I got yeah. the, a, a frog in my backyard that occasionally we'll just meet up and be like, Frank the Frog, what's popping? Yeah. He hops I in my arm, I put him on my shirt, I cut grass, and he's just like, hey, bro, mm-hmm. we cutting grass today? No, he's like, you're today, fucking Frank. up my home right now. No, nah, I, I leave a patch for him. Oh, okay. I feel nice. like I feel like his kids. I feel like all animals are. That's sweet. He has like, children? Yeah, he has. Well. His his dad Fred uh-huh. he he passed away. Oh, and then R.P. Fred. Fred do, we, do we have any? His uncle Fred? Terry the Toad. Oh, his no. uncle Terry the Toad. With the, the positive reinforcement because I get I bet he yeah. was a real nigga. Okay. I bet he was a real nigga. Man, Fred. Shut up, Fred. Fred, that's all you get, bro. How's his <laughs> wife doing? <laughs> What, bro? Listen, Does he we have gotta a talk wife? about the animals. I, I never, I never met her. You <laughs> never met her. Nah, I've only met Fred, Frank, and Frank's kids. Wow. So the wife's not in the picture. Is I, I think once they got it on, I think she moved out. <gasps> no. I'll be honest with you. Can we get back to the animals? That Fred, we Fred like, was an oh, alcoholic. It, he, he was. He was. So he deserved it. Yeah. So he le- She left him with the kids. Yeah. The tadpoles. Frank was. At is a there good water age back and there? It, it's every now and then it pop. Like puddles up after a good rain, but is it the hood? No, they don't live in the hood. Just like shallow grass. Nice, nice. But like, yeah, Frank, Frank, he he doing his damn just to feed them kids, and Frank a real nigga too. Eating too many of those mushrooms back there, huh? Tell him to chill. I'd like to meet him one day. He sounds like a nice guy. Overall, I mean, he take care of the kids, right? Oh yeah, he take care of them kids. Oh, you know, Trust me, Frank. He Frank he's gonna Frank take care of them kids. He's gonna take care of them kids. That's fact. Frank like that. Frank like that. He like okay. That's so now sad. Terry the Toad. That nigga selling crack on the side. But Red Panda, no. Red Panda, turning red. Um, yeah, I'm even <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> Did you guys remember the last twenty minutes of Turning Red, where it was pretty much just straight anime? Like I thought you guys would enjoy that a lot. Cause I, I, mean, I, I did. I don't remember. When she, uh, she's not fighting her mom, but like kind of avoiding her mom's attacks and she's like poofing through the air like the airbender <gasps> oh yeah. yes 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 um anime i would uh, definitely say it's it's still western but definitely like, western 